and welcome to another Autodesk Eagle tutorial. Today, we'll be learning about mapping 3D models to your footprints. For a very long time, Eagle has had this capacity for assigning 3D models to your footprints directly from the Autodesk Eagle Library Editor. For your convenience, this capacity has now been extended directly to the schematic and board layout editors. I will load one of the available designs and push it over the Fusion 360. I'll begin this process by selecting the Fusion 360 Fly menu and choose the Fusion project I wish to send it to. The yellow triangles that appear next to each footprint name means that there's no 3D model currently assigned to this footprint. Now, let's switch over the Fusion 360 to see our current results. You will notice that my components have appeared using the default flat boxes that are assigned when no 3D model has been mapped. These boxes are calculated by the component size. Now, let's begin mapping 3D models to our components. We'll go ahead and start working directly on the schematic. I'll right click one of my devices and select the option Add a Custom 3D Package. After a few minutes, the package editor will appear. For this example, I'll use the Generate Model Calculator. I'll select the SOIC template and enter the sizes for this component. After entering the component specifications, I'll click OK. Mapping in the model in the schematic will automatically be transferred to the PCB layout. For my next example, we'll now select one of the capacitors on the design. This time, I'm going to use the mapping option called Add Model and select from the repository of available 3D models. Using the search option will filter your results. Click on the model that best suited for your component. I had to do a second selection because the initial one was just way too small. I will push my design back to Fusion 360 to see our progress. Notice that the capacitor and the IC have been replaced from the default flat box to the map models. Let's return to Eagle to continue mapping our models. This time, I'm going to switch over to the board editor. I'll right click the component and select the Add Custom 3D Package. In this example, I'll be using the step model that is actually provided by the manufacturer. After clicking the Upload Step option, I will navigate my drive and find the step file I wish to use. After a few minutes, the model will appear on my footprint. You could use the available alignment tools to fine-tune your placement. I'll continue working on my design to add more 3D models to my components. On some of the components, I'm going to go ahead and use the Replace command to replace the footprint with another one that actually has the 3D model assigned to it. I will push my design over to Fusion 360 one more time to see our progress. Notice that all of our assets have been successfully mapped. Ideally, you want to map your 3D models in the library for design reuse. But with this new feature, you're able to update the assigned 3D models. Or if you don't have the library, you can assign 3D models directly on the design. Now, you could export a step file from Eagle or Send the design to Fusion 360 with the assigned 3D models. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.